There we go. Lots of different pictures. Click on it. And this is actually being done back in the weather office, so I appreciate the guys uh, doing this for me. You'll see the first part of your day was a mix of sun and clouds. This is from Elena. Uh, that was really the best part portion of your day. Those clouds have then thickened up, and that's what we are dealing with right now. Charlie Hoffman <laughs> actually had some time out on the boats before the clouds came in. Let's get to a live picture outside here because this is sort of interesting. Look at this, Maurice and Christine. If you're, you know, dining outside, now is the time to do it. One of our many rooftop terraces here in New York City. And, yeah, some folks out there enjoying the early evening hours. Well, it's going to get rainy. It's going to get very rainy uh, not too far off. But right now, no rain yet. It's 81. Let's go straight to the Vortex radar and satellite. Here's the first cell. The heaviest rain now just at our western borders. One little breakaway cell. You can zoom in right there. It, this is not a severe cell, although we do have a uh, severe thunderstorm watch for the areas around Chester, New Jersey, which are dealing with this little heavy downpour. But again, the heavier rain still off to the west. Really, it's around Allentown, Pennsylvania, stretching over towards Reading, Pennsylvania. A lot of lightning strikes, strong winds, some hail uh, also denoted with this storm, and it's moving in our direction. This, if it was the only storm, well, so be it. It'll be out of here pretty quickly. I do think it's going to be out of here. We'll catch a little break. See this little little channel right there of, you know, drier air? But right behind it, not too far behind it, is where you see the real bulk of this system. And look at the spin right here. Right, we see these red blocks. Those are tornado watches in portions of Kentucky and south of that. Uh, this is Tropical Depression Cindy. So... Look, we're not talking about a tropical storm coming here, but we're talking about a system that has a lot of rain and the potential for some strong winds. Here's your big picture, and you can see it's a pretty solid line that extends right now just from our western borders all the way down still to the Gulf Coast. Uh, it's going to play into our weather as you go into the nighttime hours and tomorrow. Friday night, here we go. 8 o'clock tonight, could see some of those heavy cells make their way into the city. Again, they would have already made their way through the western areas, but there are some trailers behind it as well. So you can take a hit of some heavy storm, uh, of some heavy storms. Then you have a break, maybe again, another break, and then some more. And then you'll get into the more steady line. And here shows it coming in around midnight. This is 12.30 tonight. And again, when you see that dark magenta color, those are very heavy storms that are possible with this. And then you get into your day on Saturday. Now, let's talk this through because Saturday, I think there's going to be two entirely different forecasts for your morning and then for your afternoon. This is 730 in the morning, and this is where I think you could be seeing the bulk of that line coming into the area. That's 730. Look at that. A pretty rough looking picture. Here we go. 8, 839. 930, that would be right on top of the city. Give and take an hour this way or a couple of hours that way. Just gives you the idea that it's in the morning that the line's coming through. Now we go to 10. 10.30, 11. By 11.30, it's lingering out around the east end of Long Island. So the Hamptons, you still have the clouds. You have like a little bit of a rain chance. But it clears for you, the wet weather. Clouds linger a bit. But by, say, the early afternoon, say 2, two o'clock in the afternoon, 2, maybe 3, even the east end of Long Island into a sunnier sky. And that is what will hold true for the bulk of your day on Sunday. So your beach and mountain forecast. Beaches, you've got a very significant chance for wet weather for the first half of Saturday. Uh, temperature 78 to 81. Sunday, the better looking day. For the mountain forecast, Saturday, I don't believe you're dealing with as much rain, but you still have a bit of a rain chance. Sunday, the better day, and that rain shower chance that could click in on Saturday would be later in the day. So I think your, uh, your daytime hours look actually pretty good. So here's how we see things working on the weather cast. Uh, you're 87 degrees for Saturday. You're 82 for Sunday. We spent a lot of time talking about the weekend. I think if the there's a silver lining here, and just be prepared for some strong storms. So I'm not trying to minimize this. I will tell you, they're coming through it at, at a time when a lot of us will be asleep, and a lot of us maybe sleep late on Saturday. So if you happen to be a late riser on Saturday, it's good you thing. may wake up to an okay day out there. I think it's really the morning hours that are tougher. And this is some new information because we thought that Saturday was yeah. really looking like the throwaway day, and Sunday all plans are, are good for that. Now I think the second half of Saturday looks great. Sleep in, you miss the whole thing. <laughs> they could make some boomers out there. Yeah, that'll probably wake you up.